And I think Hannah is gonna show you the project. Hello, hello, hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Marita here, super happy and excited to bring you another tutorial. As you can tell, something quite pretty on my desk, shabby chic. This is a style, a theme, a subject that many many crafters absolutely love, but I have to say I do get questions about it. Um, like what is it Marta what is shabby chic really and the actual definition of it it's a style of interior design where the furniture can either be uh, old by choice or they can be kind of made to look like old when I think about shabby chic I think about lace I think about pretty flowers I think vintage and it's also vintage a little bit of distress look a little bit of wear and tear look um, but really I think a style can change and vary depending on our liking as well. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful style. Uh, it's oftentimes connected to uh, interior design, some beautiful decorations. So exactly this will be here today on my desk. We're gonna do something with this panel maybe a decoration that could suit some uh, home owners maybe you could give it to uh, someone as a gift but i really think using this pretty pretty papers can make our project really standing out as you can tell shabby chic paper set nothing more easy than that actually when you have the actual designs in the paper these are from little birdie let me show you quickly because these are really really pretty pretty as you can tell we have some vintagey looking vintagey color scheme as well we have beautiful flowers which are watercolored we have some lovely vintage elements we have also some gorgeous gorgeous uh, titles those are perfect for ATCs uh, a front like a uh, like a um, focal point for your cards as well or on your canvas we could use that as a canvas uh, title as well we shall see what we're gonna do we also have some back Backgrounds. There we go. We have some backgrounds, but before that, uh, some paint jump in. And this one is already cut, as you can see, pre cut elements, which is super pretty. Maybe we will use some of that for this circle. Some more backgrounds, very heavy stock paper, paper stock, stock paper. <laughs> um, very good quality, very thick papers. Gorgeous, gorgeous for backgrounds if you're looking for some uh, decorations for your canvases, for your maybe some sort of uh, trays. Um, or maybe like coasters like really really pretty then we have these actually came to my liking a lot which is like a lacy kind of looking and I'm thinking to use that and maybe this part we shall see we also have gorgeous gorgeous elements that could be added on top of our canvas I'm thinking to also create this look where we have the uh, broken kind of look where we may use uh, some some lacquer um, like something that it's gonna crack like not crackle paste but crackle varnish yes I found something from years back we will see if it's gonna work out I hope it will uh, so we're gonna create some kind of old look effect as well that's what I'm hoping and of course um, you can check it out uh, little birdie link is below the video because if you didn't know yet they are Haha, <laughs> shipping worldwide finally. Uh, this is an Indian f company, as I've said to you before, but um, many, many, many beautiful uh, friends were asking about shipping and not everyone is happy to ship from India because of the customs or because of the worries and the exchange rate exchange, but now the shop is in the USA, they ship worldwide and there is a free shipping over $99. Uh, check the prices because they are unbeatable and if you use my link, you're sharing some commission with me so thank you so much in advance and thank you little birdie for sending me those gorgeous goodies let me show you as well the chipboards those are something a little different because those are primed chipboards which means they are pre pre kind of painted is it and that you can work with your beautiful paints over right away and what's gorgeous about them is that uh, they are very thick because they are actually uh, like a cardboardish, like a, they're not like a chipboard exact that, that I'm used to, and they're not like um, MDF. They're something in between, which is really nice. They're sturdy, they're good quality. So please have a look. The choice is massive. So I hope we will choose something today. Uh, check the chipboards as well and the flower selection. I have only one for now. Maybe I'll 
find something else uh, but check the flower selection because they are very well known for the handmade flower section very good prices on that so this is something for you to have a look uh, and as I said chubby cheek this subject is very much well loved by crafters and I have to say that I have been doing few projects in the past but I really wish to make it like really vintage really old looking really shabby really pretty really like really really in that style that's what I'm hoping for uh, this board is also actually from from little birdie so I hope that I'm gonna measure it for uh, this background but I'm thinking to either connect those two papers or something else let's see what else we could actually connect with each other so let's see, let's see what papers do we have because I love this one and I somehow feel for actually fussy cutting it like with the edges so that's why this came to my mind. We could actually, maybe we could actually join those two so we have like a, is there any wooden kind of like a wood effect uh, I wonder. No, 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 this, 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 but this one is probably the most... Uh, for it and imagine if we kind of yeah that's what I will probably do so I'm thinking I'm gonna turn it around and just cut it well draw it to the size of that panel now you can use canvas you can use art journal page you can use anything use the same techniques on different projects you really can you really can use it so please don't worry about hi Um, I'm not painting right now. Maybe I like, like to paint. I I know, but what about later? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking this. Can I think of this? And we I'm need lollipop. <laughs> There's no lollipop. I, I don't. I like to find it. I like. I like to find it. I can tell you. I can tell you a secret. Lollipop is in the in the room with the food, in the storage room. Ask Daddy. I'm sure he'll find some. I like to find it with you. With me? Yes. Really? Yes. Why? Maybe Daddy can help you. No. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. So we have two squares. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see it. Okay. I'll cut it and I'll be right back. Sorry. I will move your I'm gonna chair. move my chair. Um, I'm thinking as well. I found one other paper. I forgot it's there. I was uh, I was mommy, using mommy. it. Yes. There you go. The yeah. There you go. There you go. My chair is new and it's very heavy. And I also found this. That's the missing circle. <laughs> so I have that. You could say hello to everyone. Hannah. How are ya? Ask them if they good. Are they good? I think they are. So I found this one as well, but I'm not too sure because I like the connection con con connection of these two. So yes, you can have a look at them, Hannah. And I'm gonna cut them and be back. Okay, so I have them cut. Let me put these aside and I'll show you what's kind of in my mind, what I was thinking. Since we have since we it's have, a pillow. yes, it is. Since we have this gorgeous background here, which is like a very chubby, ch chubby, and I'm thinking what? to fuss chubby, ch shabby, <laughs> shabby chick, and I'm thinking to cut this around here and maybe cut it like here. Like, imagine, like, yeah, that's what I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fussy cut this element here and make this like a little. Did you projects? It's my projects, yes. Where did you go, Hannah? Why? It was, it was raining. That's why you came back? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then it's, I see the clouds. Did you see the clouds? Yes. And that's why the rain was there? Yes. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I need to have the flower. Okay. Hi. <laughs> have. Are you hungry? Hanya, are you hungry? Yes. What would you like to eat? Bread with single and tzatziki. <laughs> and you can say that in English. Bread with butter. Butter and ham. 
as she said, in, half in Polish sentence words, half in English. <laughs> so, chlebek z szynką i masełkiem, or bread with ham and butter. It's two long good projects. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You can show to the camera what you have. So everyone can see it. Yes, we have some gorgeous, gorgeous elements, which are from resins. Thank you for showing. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's so pretty for you. Yes, thank you. Do you like them? I like my projects. You like your project? You like a little crafter? Oh no, it fell down. Are you my little crafter helper? I think you are. I can help you. Two seconds. I pick it up for you if I find it. No, no. Go, stay by, stay on the chair. <laughs> oh my, my. My project. Your project, yes, your project. Where I put that? Um, I don't know. You may put it on your project. This is a clock. You know, this is a clock. So I'm thinking to make them on top of each other, which I think it's going to be just looking very nice. What's that? Um, that's also a very delicate element that maybe... That's not for me. No, this one is not for you, no. It's not, indeed. Oh, that's for me. Oh, the battery is finishing. I'll, I'll have to change it. Okay, battery changed and the baby is gone for now. For now, anyway. Uh, so I'm fussy cutting like a lace effect kind of. We shall see how this is gonna be because, you know, often. I'm back, mommy. <laughs> I'm here. I can see you and I can hear you. Hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> studio. In studio. Yes. Are you in mommy's studio? Yes. Do you like being here? Where'd that go? Uh, you can use it to your project, if you like. It's leaves. Yes, it's leaves. Well done. Mm -hmm. I have to find it. That's not for me. Mm -hmm. You want to show everyone your project? So, here it is. Hannah is doing her beautiful project. Yes. Don't leave. Oh, sorry for moving it. I just thought that you want to show it in the camera, maybe. No, that's my project. Okay. It is yours. I'm not taking it away. And what is it? Is it a horsey there? No. It's a horsey there. Did you see? Can you see the horsey? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The horsey is there. Mm-hmm. Now, fussy cutting nearly done. And let's see how this will match to the idea. There we go. Let's just put it on the side. So I was thinking to put, oopsie, to put this something like that. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. And imagine if... Can, can you pull it? Yes, you can. And imagine if we could have something like this here. This one is a lamp. Or um, maybe like a chipboard as well. I don't know, just... You know, it's like a random kind of can thinking. Can you bring it to my house? I think I have to cut that. Can Sorry. Actually, it is dirtying your underneath it, so be careful. It's on top, it's perfect because it's done, but underneath it, it's dirtying, so be careful. I love that idea actually. Maybe we swap it, and I still think of adding something else like in the corners or something like that. So I think, oh wow, look at that! It's a gorgeous idea, isn't it? So something like this. Look, it's just random out loud thinking, you know. We shall see where this is gonna take taking us. But it's gorgeous looking so far, I think. 
Um, probably it would be even nicer if I have two of these. I don't think I do have. Uh, I may check, but I don't think I do have. Oh, but I have those two. Uh, so we shall see if I can. Although I love these designs. But maybe those will look good too. We have to have a look. We have to have a look and then these are going to be gorgeous as well. And then we, then we have four, which is nice. <clears throat> oh wow! Oh wow! Now the other thing that was in my mind. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good to see you back. I love having you here. Okay. Have these things. Like what? These. Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. And this is gorgeous as well. Imagine this being them? added. I can't open them. I can, of course I can. There you go. <clears throat> and no, too much. But it's there. It's gorgeous. We're working on it. And this could be actually underneath it or something, something. And I can cut some design There's stickers. here as well like There's um, stickers. Wait, wait, There's which one stickers. I was thinking? Yes, Hannah. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to find it. But I, I need blue and purple of blue. Hmm? I have to have orange to blue. Because that's orange. Do you see orange? I see orange. You're looking for orange stickers. That's orange here, Hanya. You know? Oh, I'm thinking this one. But when maybe it's a wrong my, color. My, no, maybe project. that's one. Two seconds. Okay, so I have the bigger paper. The same? Not the same. No, it's the same. So let's see if I can... Oh! Wait. Barely. <laughs> but it's gonna happen. Super. So that's let's mine? see if I can... That's mine? Uh, not really, Hannah. Not this one, actually. You can have other things, but this is... Oh, no, this is too small, like, millimeters. Probably not noticeable. Um, let me see. I have... No, this one is smaller. I Can I have the pencil for just one minute? Oops. Yeah, I think it's too small. But you know what? I still will try and see. There you go. If Thank it's you. uh, you're welcome, if it's extremely too small or not, because maybe if we add like uh, you know like inking, you won't see it. If we add inking on the side, oops, I'm very bad in cutting circles. I, I need say. something. Like what, Hannah? I need some this thing. <laughs> My circle. Wait, I just need to cut it first before you take it. I'm not too sure I can give it to you, Hanya. Because I may use it for my project. That's my project. Well, the circle is my project. That's my project for my this thing. <laughs> I it's love you. I love you, Hanya. That's my project for this thing. Mm -hmm. Gently, gently, because the camera. Okay. Okay. See, we. How bad is my cut? But we barely can see it. So wait. Let's see. No, 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 Hanya. You just have to wait one, one second. Oh yes, I think it's gonna be nice. Either way, uh, I think the circle will disappear once we just have. Not that. To. Not really. No, not yet. Anyway, poczekaj. That's a clock. Yes, it is, Hanya. Well done. And... There is water inside? Or... There is a water inside, yes. Something like that, which I think it matches beautifully now. It's not that very too small or something. Ha. But I think it's really, really, really pretty. Really, really nice, I believe. Or maybe it's a little too much of the actual design. Maybe... I'll change the idea as it was originally, which is only two of them, and it's lighter, kind of. 
I don't know, what's your thoughts? Because we have this chipboard here, which is nice, I love it. We could have maybe do double or something like that. I think I have an idea. I think what I will do, oh, I love it now. I think what I will do is I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna glue this down uh, do some crackling on it and then we take it from there and we will see what's gonna happen with this one whether we're gonna do a 3d because I have a feeling that it would be so lovely if we're gonna make this standing out 3d and this chipboard could go underneath it for example uh, I think so I think this could be really really nice okay let's get into gluing down so I'm gonna just clean this a little bit put these chipboards aside because we may still use some chipboards. I don't know yet. No, no decision made. So I'm going to put the gorgeous chipboards there. Put this aside as well and this. And I will glue down this part. Okay. And I will use heavy gel medium. This one is from Little Bird and it's really well. Working very well. Uh, but with if gel mediums I you need to be... Are you painting, Mommy? I'm painting. I'm gluing down, Hannah, now. You know? Mommy? Yes? Can you glue my thing? Yes. C will, you, will you wait a minute? Do you think you could wait a little bit? When mom, Mama finished this, I can do your stickers. Is that okay? Is that okay, Hannah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So wait a minute. And then Is Mommy... That's project? That's my project, yes. It's a panel. It's like a canvas. You can use canvas, guys, if you don't have wooden panel or any sort of... You can try to use cardboard as well. I don't know. It's here. So whatever, whatever you have, use what you have, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a horsey. Okay, let's try to glue this down and be quite precise thing. with it. But again, we will add some inking, um, so this will definitely help out. Oh, looks great. Looks perfect, actually. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> that's mommy's phone. I need to stop my, my tank. Okay, I think... We may want to have... We're going to be coloring that anyway, so nothing to be worried. We want to make sure that it is... Uh-oh. What? What you're doing? You have tons of water on you, don't you? No, I have to do that. Lucas is doing dinner, if you can maybe hear it. I think it's a little bit bright again okay tone it down maybe it's gonna be better for you now okay we need this to dry before we apply some uh, crackling medium because I re oh no 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 thank you for your uh, help thank you for your project for your wet water no no but I can give you because this is a sticker Hanya and cook you can hear Lucas he's cooking so all the noises today are very homey noises well, there's tons of water, so it's hard to... Oh, there you go. Look, 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 look. There you go. Okay, you can stick it somewhere. Can you stick on your project? No, not really, not mine. No, 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 no. I'll be back, guys. I need to save my project. Yeah. What did you do? Stick on his trousers. Whose trousers? Daddy's. Did you stick a sticker on Daddy's trousers? Yes. Really? Would you like to do it again? Yeah. Do you want to get you another sticker? Yeah. Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go and stick it to daddy's trousers again? Yeah. But shh. We need to say nothing. So it's a secret. Secret mission. I can't stick this one. I can give you this one. Maybe. Oh, this one. We can send daddy. We can ship daddy. Now. Oh. There you go. all of my stickers out <clears throat> I, 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 
did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> well done. High five. Yay. <laughs> Good job. <gasps> Who's that? I think that is calling for something. <laughs> Back to you. I will now add some some sort of medium that is transparent and that will basically allow me for some crackling effect. I'm not expert, as you know, but I really would love to get this subject happening in my projects and I think Shabby Chick is the best for it, one of the best. So that's what I'm planning. This is a cracking medium that it's very much old, like I'm talking eight years old when I was doing decoupage and I grabbed that box filled with things from decoupage times where I have been doing decoupage and I said yeah I'm doing it, yeah let's try. So I hope it will work. I have done tiny tests and it worked that's why I'm deciding to it but um, yeah I'm not <laughs> giving 100% uh, that it will you know crack everywhere uh, equally and all um, but we shall try we shall try this is uh, layer number one and that's how it works you have one layer and you are applying it you're waiting for it to dry and then when it's dry you are applying layer number two with a different different um, different uh, lacquer different medium so it's like a two-step thing and yeah, I if you have anything good for crackling, you could let me know because I was looking for something that it's transparent, that you don't have to use uh, anything dark underneath it. Usually that's what happens, like we have some crackling that it's appearing and um, cracking and showing what's underneath it. What I really wish is that my crackling is transparent so that I can then add something on top to enchase the crackling. That's kind of my idea but again <laughs> I'm using quite a lot of it because it's extremely thick maybe it's um, maybe I should mix it possibly possibly I should mix it we shall see I'll, I will try to just go everywhere you know equally -ish. go over yeah and then we will see it's a test <laughs> together with each other because I really think that <clears throat> if we wish for chubby shabby chic effect where we have like um, you know we have some cracklings and some old looking things I think we just have to create this old vintage wear and tear effect so that's why I'm doing this and I'm gonna concentrate a lot on the edges since these are gonna be the most visible so yeah maybe I over down here the smell is not so nice I have to say yeah not so great so don't inhale too much okay let's leave this to dry and I'll be right back Okay, my panel is dry. We are ready to apply second coat, second layer with a medium that should start making the cracks. So let's see how this is going to be. And I have to say I'm really new person in this subject. I'm a total beginner when it comes to um when it comes to crackling and all. So I really hope we will do a good good job. I'm gonna try to leave a generous like kind of generous amount of mm, lacquer I guess that's the name and we shall see where the biggest cracks will appear and if they will appear at all because as I say these are eight years old I'm not even gonna <laughs> say um, where I got them from because maybe the brand is not even existing or maybe the product is not existing so you look for uh, crackling mediums that are currently on the market. This is literally eight years old, so it may not even crack. <laughs> it may not even crack. We shall see. I hope it will, but you never know. You never know. I really hope it will work. I added quite a lot of underneath layers, so I, I hope I didn't went. I didn't go like too thick with it. To you know, we shall see. I don't see any cracks yet, but it will take time. So I'm going to leave this now for 
natural crackling hopefully this will happen now <laughs> I'm trying to see if I covered it everywhere and I think I, I, I did, I think I did a pretty good job so we shall leave this to dry and I'll be right back let's have a look together tons of beautiful beautiful cracks I hope you can see them we're gonna make them more appearing with some medium it's cracked everywhere the whole surface which is very nice very pretty I hope you can tell and we will use some things that we will rub in between the grooves and this will help to actually bring the the actual cracking more visible I have some mediums. I'm gonna be using some waxes from Little Birdie and also something very old for decoupage as well. We shall see how this is gonna go. And I think because we have green, like like a very delicate green, I think we might just jump in with the green to start with. And let's see. Oh, that's so nice. And I will be concentrating for now uh, in the actual um, in the actual sides. I hope you can see. I'm gonna bring that maybe a little bit closer to you so you can see the whole the the whole cracking effect. I'm gonna be doing my my sides especially, and I think I will do some kind of gradient between dark and um, I'm gonna make all of them I think color scheme mix them all with the brown green and brown I think and um, make it darker and brighter um, the more pigment you add the more pigment will go in the grooves now wax would be probably more to enchase the actual uh, 3d elements not the cracking but I think look it is working magic it's looking very pretty and now you also because of the um, of the medium that it's shiny you can actually rub it off look so you have your project untouched in a way with the color maybe slightly but not as much but you have things in the grooves which is which is what we want we would like to have our project uh, to have the grooves visible and the effect of old and vintage and wear and tear and broken and you can see I have been testing and trying out the actual um, cracking medium because I'm not expert whatsoever I haven't used it much I haven't used it often I will that's why I'm testing out I really wish to jump in into that subject I think it's such a great idea to make your project really different and stand out with the cracking and this extra effect and for, for shabby chic I think it's absolutely perfect so uh, here is the the testing part and you can see how different are the actual um, cracks you know bigger and smaller depending how big and thick w was the the medium so it's a time to experiment as well for sure you should uh, check it out experiment a little bit I love that so very much look at it like whoa so different isn't it now let's see let's see maybe I'm gonna change my mind and go a different direction I don't know look I don't know but for now I love what I see I love and I'm gonna be trying to clean this off a little bit but also oh wow but also make sure that it's even everywhere that the color is there but yes kind of blend it in better and keep it nice and wow nice and shabby <laughs> looking pretty let's see this color oh well maybe let's see this first um, this one is like a gold-ish effect mm -hmm. yes and no I think I wish for something darker so I'm gonna jump in for this which is a very strange med oh yes very strange medium uh, it's a typical for decoupage it's like a paste oldish paste thing yet again this is like hmm, like eight years old products so and it's a particular for the grooves actually filling in the grooves so I like that I think it it does the actual magic here 
very nice and it goes in between the grooves as you can tell and you can probably yes you can probably rub it off the top as well so to enchase the grooves but not really uh, coloring so I like the mix of both so we have the wax that gave us the pretty pretty color and we have this dark that is enchasing the actual grooves even more even more you know so I like that I love that actually so I'm sure you can use some sort of like a sponge or I like to work with my fingers I just feel the most comfortable with my fingers for now at least maybe I'll learn a different way different technique but for now I like the finger control happenings here I love it we will of course clean it off and then and then it will all kind of come in more and it will all blend in better and just be more even everywhere I guess now whoops <laughs> This is my lamp jumping. Oh yeah, <laughs> jumping with the with me shaking the whole table. I hope you don't mind that. I, I think I'm gonna go gently here as well. But for now, let me just see how we are doing with cleaning this off. Wow, very nice. And you can probably go over the whole surface, isn't it? And just even it up, everything. Beautiful. Really, really pretty. <clears throat> wow. How gorgeous that is. Now I'm trying to see where we are with this, which is... <laughs> it looks that it's not fitting, but don't worry, we'll try to make this fit as well. Of course. Now, because I have been adding the green, uh, we have kind of green grooves outside and now we have darker here, can you tell, because we didn't add anything. So next time I could swap the actual, uh, so we could have like green more in the middle and the grooves, the darker grooves more outside, because now they fill it in with the green, so it's harder for us to fill it in with the brown one unless I really really try which I see it's possible so maybe that's what I'll concentrate on trying to fill in even more in the grooves with the dark to have the really really dark effect outside and make sure that I have enough of pigment to like jump in in those grooves and have tones under my nail as you can probably see yeah maybe I can get it out yeah there we go. Long nails probably don't help. <laughs> there we go. So I'm trying to really st stick in the grooves here, like a lot of that outside, especially making our <coughs> grooves filled it in with this very dark pigment. Mm hmm looking good very good now mm -hmm. I have to say it's a very satisfying part of the project part of the process I very much like it mm -hmm. <coughs> even more there Marta even more there, like you still have a chance to really fill it in some of those bigger grooves. So, Marta, do the magic. Very nice. Wow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm happy with what I see. I'm gonna grab some cleaner tissue, maybe. And let's 
start from inside from here going outside sort of mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. oh wow that's nice There we go. So you can see the darker groove stayed now. I really pushed it, pushed it in between. And we have this gorgeous, gorgeous cracks. Wow. I I have been really wishing to to make cracking effects and just enjoy this sort of decoupage techniques as well. Okay. I think we can call this one finish the background and we can concentrate how we do the rest of our canvas. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking that it could be nice, let's see with this one especially, it could be nice to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of inking, right? So let's see, I'm remove this one here. So a little bit of inking around our around our elements to make this more um, vintagey, I guess. I'm going from outside to inside of the circle. And I'm trying to get off the excess first on the piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So far. Mm -hmm. I'm still smiling how uneven is my circle. Now I'm going back again around and just going like with the second layer, kind of making it even even darker. If I want, I started from circle because if I won't like it or if I feel that it's look it's not going the direction I was hoping for, I'm just gonna move on and make another circle because I still have this paper. So that's what I'm thinking that can be done. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like that. I love that actually. But we need as well our canvas to be... I don't know if it's possible to actually have... Oh, will this ink stay on it? Oh, not really, no? Seriously? The ink doesn't want to stay on it that much as I would imagine. No, and it's actually clean it off even. Hmm. Let's leave it for now. Let's get this one. And let's see if we will do also the, the lace. Let's see if we do the vintage feeling for the whole lace. How this will then be. We have chipboards to color as well. And... We can decide. Mm -hmm. So not everything will cover, color that crackling medium. Interesting actually. Oh beautiful. It will be good guys. It will be nice. So to not have the paper so much stand out we have to kind of connect it. This is brown and green. This is only green. So now I'm brown in it. So it helps to keep everything, you know, blending in happy together as if they were made for each other. That's the plan. And let's try this to happen. And also when you make the edges like this, it is definitely 
making the edge, making this more stand out and bigger contrast I guess Wow, middle part more, I think. Okay, super. A little bit more there, I think. Okay, super. Now, a little bit of the edge as well on this side. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I love this vintage shabby shabby. I don't know if the white splashes counted for sh count for shabby. <laughs> I hope so, because <laughs> I'm tempted already to do some splashes. Okay, I'm gonna take this aside for now anyway and see which directions we are going now with it. Oh wow, I like that. Where are you? Oh, here you are. So I was thinking to do. Oh, sorry about that. So I was thinking this. And I was thinking this is this kind of way, right? And our beautiful chipboard, our beautiful chipboards. I think I wish to whiten them. For some reason I think I wish to whiten them actually. And we could whiten this one as well and I would still attach this one here. And I think it's gorgeous like that, I really think. Although, I wish this to be more into this color. And the fact that it's not happening, let me see if I can do something. If I can maybe use like a, maybe acrylic paint or something, I don't know. I, all I, or I'll try it again, if I can. No, it does happen, maybe I just need a little bit more inking time. A little bit more, maybe, 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 let's see. Question is, will it last or will it wash off? Will it dry and keep it like this or will it, you know, let's see now. Yes, I think, I think it needs it. I think it really needs it, so maybe what I'll do, I'll take a black and have this a little bit darkened with grey or black, something like that, so that the actual, like kind of outside the, the whole um, lines and, you know, like a framework kind of, do this in a frame idea. Okay. I just feel that this needs to be a little bit browner and a little bit darker. I guess that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so far it does look better, I think. I have this grey. Let's see if this grey will do any magic to it. Let's see, I have some other... I think it can... I think it could be handy. Oh yes, a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. To not say that I actually love that mix of grey and brown. Yes, maybe I'm gonna add some grey as well to the um, to the paper. How is that? Possibly that's what I will do. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love this actually. So our middle part kind of become a little bit brighter now and 
you know, but let's see. Let's get the circle. Yes, let's get the circle first. And a little bit of that circle, gray in the circle, actually. So it's not black, but it is dark enough, you know, when you press it, press it, press it. Oh, definitely. Definitely, I think I would like to kind of soften this brown. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm in the camera. I am. <laughs> I was so in the zone of inking that I didn't even look if I'm in the camera. Oh wow. Very dark though, isn't it? Do we like that? Oh wow. It does bring the actual um, clock standing out more now. I think I'm gonna just add up that gray everywhere in places. So it will kind of kill it a little bit, that brown, a little bit. Maybe I'm not that keen on that shade too much like maybe that's why maybe now soften it yes kind of down it yeah definitely like compare this side to this you can see that this is more like soft and softened which this brown is too brown for my liking maybe that's my problem with the vintage projects that I love it when I see in someone else but not necessarily in my works I'm not confident at all when it comes to my work, so very interesting, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> are we still recording? Yes, we are. Okay, wow. A little bit of work here and there, but you know what? Hopefully this will give us some answers to what we would love to see. And let me close this one as well. Put it aside, not dry. Oh wow. Oh wow. I love this. I, I really, really mean it. I love it so much now. I wasn't too keen on it when it was opposite. When it was only brown now. This is too dark for me to, though. I may do it again or or wait. Maybe... Oh, I like that now because this is very dark. I don't know if it's not too dark. There's something about it that it's maybe too dark for me. Um, I love this totally. Totally my style, totally my cup of tea. I love that. Mm-hmm, and I think I'm keen to add even more white like white gesso even more white gesso to well Yeah to this which is my there we go my brush is there. I Should open this better, but oh well Let's see Maybe I'll move it to a different piece of paper because Just in case if this react to A little bit of white. Mm -hmm. I think this will soften up everything. And I wonder, shouldn't I add a little bit of white in the middle of the canvas? No. Whoops. Okay, there we go. I like that. I prefer a little bit of white happening. Look, you can see right away that it's definitely like a hundred percent a hundred percent the only thing is that i will take away the paper and jump in with this and i need to open up that so let's get this one happening here ah, i think i didn't i have to mix this up oh yeah there we go i'm gonna be all dirty dirty but I need this to go. Sorry, I'm doing it off camera because I have my fingers <laughs> dipped. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to mix it up. It's very liquidish. 
I'm not used to this type of gesso for sure, but I like it. At least it's it's something different to experience. I used to have more um, 3D-ish kind of. I like that. Now it is dirtying, as you can tell. So I think a little bit of dryness. Coat number two will will become very handy. Now, super. No, definitely. Okay, and we can actually add second layer here. I think why not? <coughs> and this one too, since we can use all three. You need to move. <laughs> you need to move. A good brush, like a very soft brush, will be very handy when it comes to coloring, coloring chipboard. So it will go everywhere, and it's, you know, it's like a more fluffy and all. Mm, I have a little, a little idea. Since this is liquidish gesso, look at that. How about a touches of white, just to. I don't know, soften up everything and kind of look, I like that, you know, that it's a little bit, hmm, how can I say, um, in, just in places, a little bit maybe brighter, I don't know, breaking it if you feel like it, so that's just an idea, although this won't be visible as much, but look, if you wish for some white cracks, even gesso could go in between, in between, now we have our chipboards ready, Oh, that stuck to my paper, which I should. There we go. Mm. I could have used foil for definite, <laughs> not, not the paper. So maybe use some. Oh, I think I hear my broccoli very much. I shouldn't be putting my my chipboards on top of already wet mediums, wet paper. But anyway. It's done. That's no problem. I think I hear broccoli. I'm back to you now. And I don't know. There's just something that it's just... I don't know. I just don't feel it. Um, maybe it's that circle. I don't know. I love this totally. And I'm thinking maybe I'm going to just basically jump in and get few elements, fussy cut, and try to build some sort of composition within that chip uh, with it within that uh, within that panel canvas uh, that's what I'm thinking so I'm gonna fussy cut some of that including this gorgeous birdie why not uh, you know when you don't feel for something you just don't feel for something and it's okay to change your mind it's okay to change the idea uh, and that's it you know you just just you better do it before you feel like you're wasting your time and that you you know it just if you don't like something go for something else change it it's okay to go back one step and yeah maybe I just overdone the color on that circle possibly I could do one more circle I'll see maybe I'll go back to it but at least I'll try I'll Fussy cut those and I'll see how do I love, how do I like the, the panel right now because it is gorgeous I have to say and I really don't want to mess it up. I wish to be very happy with it and have a good feel about it so there we go. Now, you sometimes ask me, how do you do so... I'm not super precise, how, how do you do... I, I, this is not the most extremely precise fussy cutting you can find in my projects, but you know, it's enough, it's good, it has a lovely background uh, originally, so even if it's not like to the exact line, that's okay, because it's pretty as it is. Oops. And sometimes if you cut some element, that's okay too. <laughs> I really wish you to be a little bit more relaxed about about your fussy cutting. Now, um, I'm not too sure if I have mentioned 
but a uh, little birdie also is sold in itsy bitsy which is Indian shops and I'm sure that beautiful Indian friends here watching my channel knows about it but in case you didn't know you can shop with them online as well and the link is also provided in the description box to get under the video together with the link for the USA store and you must know as well that USA store ship worldwide indeed so finally Australian friends <laughs> European friends you can finally get little birdie and I know that tons of you have been waiting for this there we go <clears throat> look we will see how this will go you know I think the images the shabby chick images here are absolutely stunning so why not to try to use them isn't it there we go <clears throat> oh wow maybe this is exactly what we need maybe this is what we're missing I don't know and how about Oh, if I do this, we have birdie as well. Yeah, in the meantime, I have put down the <laughs> the pots, potatoes, and the broccoli were cooking away. And Lucas went to the garden, so he forgot to turn it down a little bit. And I was like, very much boiling. Now it's shimmering, shimmering, shimming. Sh shimmering no I don't know <laughs> I I think I start liking this way more than than what we had I think so my I may still add the I think Hannah walks up ha Lucas yeah she's I can hear her walking <laughs> Hannah is dun 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 it's her time anyway to wake her up so perfect absolutely perfect Hannah oh I love it I'm looking now in the camera sometimes when you look in the project when you make it it's different when I'm now looking here you don't see it in the actual camera so I'll see it a little bit differently uh, I see it even nicer so I think this could be a good decision I may still do the inking the white actually not the inking the white on the on this I may do that we shall see yeah, I thought that they stay upstairs, but no, I may have to let you go for a little moment because when Hanita sees lights here, she knows I'm recording and she wished to be here, so I may be back. Oops, see you later. Oh, I love that. Do you know what? I really, 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 truly love that. So let's see if we can add something else, maybe. And I'm thinking, maybe. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I told you. Here. Are you here? Yes. Again. Hi. How was your? S <laughs> she gave me that. She <laughs> How was your sleep? Good? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. Did you have any dreams? Yes. <gasps> did you? What did you dream about? A brush. A brush? You can have a look at it. It's it's a little bit dirty, so please be careful because you may you may brown your your fingies with it because it has some brown ink on it. I'm finishing that sweetie and we're going to have some lunch, some late early, late lunch, early dinner. I'm thinking guys, let's have a look at that. I'm thinking that I, I feel it's a little too dark here, but I don't know, we shall see. So I'm kind of trying to see if I can, what can we do about it? I'll see. I have some plan. I have some, a little bit strange plan. Maybe it's wrong. But if we want to try it, we won't know, so we just have to try it. And and where's Emily, Hannah? Still? Is she still in school? Do you miss her? Do you miss your sissy? Sissy is playing with you, isn't she? What did we play last night? Was were we hiding? What where? What did we hide last night? Little. Little Einstein. Yes, we were hiding little Einsteins, do you remember? Okay, so I'm thinking to maybe change that towards oh ooh, 
Look at this now. Wow. How different perspective is that now? How about this? I don't know yet. I'm just trying to see. Uh, I do like this this way. I don't know, guys. You help me. I wish to hear from you. I wish to... Like, this is nice, the dark element. It is adding something special. So, let's see. And what if, in, in theory, in theory only, I like that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be adding the layers. I think it will just bring this... Oh, wow. Bring this a little bit ba more and have this less contrast, no, more contrast, so all the layers are more visible as well and our inking is now nice and visible it is connected to this, but it's broken with the layer, so in very interesting, isn't it? very interesting, so this would be like that something along these lines, this would be like this chick 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 mm and maybe I wonder if we need this in white do we need this at all? like um, oh yes maybe this could be it wait how about something like this so this goes here this goes here this stands out there Oh yes, look at that! I think we have it, guys. I really, really think we have it now. Finally. And the birdie somewhere there. Imagine this. Oh wow! What a journey that was to actually come up to this look, which is gorgeous. Shabby vintage, really, really nice. So I think, I think should we add a little bit of white? Maybe not too much, maybe just a little bit of white to this. So to kind of break it, or not, or maybe leave it, or... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> what if I'll change my mind and go to brown instead? I know it's kind of too late, but it's never too late. Wow, maybe this is what we should go back to. Wait. I have more chipboards. I can use these for different things, of course. I have this, no, that not, not but I have these. Have these which are gorgeous as they are primed actually better I think than yeah you know we go back to even different sort of feeling now I have some more corners <clears throat> these are even different wow very nice wow what if we what if we do this <gasps> what do you say about this now Wow, okay, Marta. So we went through the whole process of coloring. Oopsie, that's probably my fault putting it to the box. The whole process of coloring to end up with the keeping the original color of the chipboards because it's so stunning. That's okay, we can still use those. Don't please don't ever worry. I'll see if I have more chipboards because possibly I have. I don't think I have this very long line chipboard, but I'll see what else I have. Oh, look, I have this gorgeous one. Maybe instead of clock, all the clocks are awesome. <gasps> Wait. Okay, I don't have the lines. That's okay, but I have. Look what I found. Life is beautiful. And this in writing, like a script writing, will match beautifully. Really, really nice. I got my books. <laughs> Did you? Oh, wow. Are you going to read some to me? That's for my, my car. For the car? Okay. That's to read for the car. Okay. Now I'm thinking to... I'm going to... Where are you going? I'm going to, to Emily because Oh, to collect going. Emily. Oh, because it's raining, is it? Yes. Are you going to go with Daddy to collect Emily? Yes. Oh, you're such a good good sister. So I'm not good sister. Oh, yes, you are. You're the best. Maybe we don't need anything here on the side, guys. Maybe it's I'm only my... You were a sissy, you were a small sissy, and Emily is a big sissy. <laughs> okay. Um, I just Emily. love it what I um, see now. Hannah. Yes, you were Hannah. You were Hannah, sweetie bitty. <laughs> small baby Inca. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. Maybe do a little bit of splashes and stuff, but really, I love that. I love... Um, 
we could have add this technically we could have add this actually uh, and it would be nice and maybe we do mix of both you hear daddy talking I think daddy is checking if Emily is walking or if she needs a spin home I think that's what dad is ringing about maybe we are actually gonna keep both maybe we keep it both Hannah hmm What's here both? and both you going to collect Emmy? Hannah, do you want to go with Daddy? Uh -huh. I think she's yeah, she's prepared with the books and stuff, <laughs> so you kind of have to go together. Don't forget the shoes and the jacket, Emmy and Hannah, okay? And I see you shortly. I'll mind the cooking, so I will Lucas. I will mind the cooking, the pots that she left, okay? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix both. I'm gonna have both. Why not? And I, I could have white sentence so that would match sentence would match the the chipboards that we have here. What about if I and I'm sorry that I'm just like all over the place but I just I love it and I'm really excited about it and I think for some reason I like all of <laughs> these ideas. <laughs> Why not to somehow fit them together? I don't know if it's even possible, but I'll I'll do my best and I'll try to, this to happen. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow, I'm so impressed now with the whole journey of this. Let's see if we can actually put this one here, maybe a little bit underneath it. And then we have our cage, <clears throat> maybe like this, I'm thinking that this title could be here, could be in white as well, and the birdie, imagine this, or there we go, what do you think, I, I'm not too sure if it's not too busy, with those white chipboards but for some reason I feel that it's lifting it up the whole project that the whole project is dull-ish for my liking because I'm very into white I love white in general it's probably one of my after grey it's my favorite color so no wonder I think that it's you know lifting that white is lifting it up so I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna leave this as it is literally trying to fit in those chipboards and I, I love it I really think it's beautiful what if I take away this oh this could be nice too isn't it but then all these gorgeous ornaments I think it just gives this like wow effect so yeah I think we should start gluing them down okay let's get into it <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I've done off camera a little bit of whitening on that and I think look it kind of uh, closure everything so we have some white and we have some regular which everything ties in now together I really think so I really really think so although if I could add anything else I am thinking about one more thing which is like even lifting it up the the actual elements more from the page because I think that they somehow sink in but I think I think I would be worried that I'll just like really destroy the whole idea so I leave it as it is how about it I didn't even think about flowers at all do we need oh that could be nice so let's glue it down and then we shall see we shall decide how we're gonna do it now I think so I just have to decide for the for the for the placing of it so something like that a bit, a bit closer maybe there and this there okay let's have this off now mm -hmm. and this one somewhere along these I'd say <coughs> So what I will do is I'm gonna get my hot glue, hot glue, well done, and now hot glue here as well, why not, 
and same for this one and for the other layer I'm gonna do it more more kind of 3D whoops no 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 don't move okay so I'm gonna use 3D foam I guess oh my hot glue gun as the name says it's very hot <laughs> okay super so that should be oh that's perfect actually that is perfect now I think I'm gonna use my gel medium as well for heavy gel medium for this because yeah um, mm, I'm thinking 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 3d 3d oh it's gorgeous project Wow <laughs> There is nothing but I like to praise yourself and please, please do it. We have to praise yours, ourselves, I think. Um, I'm thinking to get the hot glue first and just get our chipboards happening. I've added quite an, a generous amount of hot glue. So I really wish to make sure that I'll roughly know where to place it. There we go. Something like that. Mm-hmm perfect then I think I may just add some 3d foam to even make it more standing out and some hot glue here and maybe here as well there we go I may have to I might have to hold it a little bit for a second or two and in the meantime while this is gonna dry I'm gonna jump in and check my broccoli I hope you don't mind that I'm talking about foods right now and then this but it's literally I need to check it out okay so we have we need some 3d foam for our rose bouquet and I had some salad, sorry. <laughs> you may hear that in my voice. Um, okay, so the broccoli was already turned off, but uh, potatoes weren't, so good that it went. Because they were like literally ready, ready. Okay, so here it is. Like what? No, this is perfect. Something like that. And our gorgeous birdie, maybe, no, maybe like this actually, I don't know, wait, <laughs> Marta, yeah, like this and then, yeah, okay, yeah. You see, sometimes <laughs> you just have to turn it around and see how things are and see how things are okay yes definitely and here here is our gorgeous soberty very 3d ish he is that's good and i'm gonna use my gel medium for gluing down my letters and i'm gonna use gently under there everywhere i usually would jump in for hot glue but you know what it's never that precise so now this time we're really shabby and gentle so I'm gonna place it like proper properly and hopefully this will hold now I didn't I didn't see if I put it everywhere as I should but let's hope so okay and now what I will do is I'm gonna place my um, 3d foam here you can if you don't have foam you can use even cardboard anything really so there we go and one more oh, they here they arrived so it's very dull outside unbelievable like I'm glad that Lucas sent to collect them and because it wouldn't be just pr not nothing nice to walk to walk I think I have to fix this cuz <laughs> I think I could do a way better job with this one oops let me just see yeah <laughs> I think so I think so there we go yeah and I just add tiny touch of hot glue and there we go 
there we go now and a lot of hot glue here I like to mix both so I have the glue and the 3d foam all nice in the middle not on the side because I still don't know if on the side I won't add the chipboards and if I add where I'm gonna add and so on and so on okay Marta enough talking concentrate on making it straight ish <laughs> beautiful oh wow absolutely gorgeous 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 I love it wow so pretty I'm so proud of it I'm so happy about it and I was so worried I have to say I had my doubts 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 yeah <sighs> sometimes you just have to risk it and try this that this that this and nothing works that's okay try it again you know or just maybe sometimes let it go and everyone is in here so we may have guests yet again hi, <laughs> hi. Okay, how about... Mm, I'm not too sure if I need help this time. You know, I have a look if I need your help. Look at that, how about hiding parts of that here? Let's take up my coat. Okay, please, and could you actually put it in the corridor? Uh, you will. No, I won't. Please, you put it and then you can come back here. And the jump, and the... Uh, the um, hat as well please okay? okay now thank you so now we have this and we could have it like there you, you know it's our decision where we're gonna place it but I really love it I really think it's gorgeous I'm so proud of it I'm so happy about it it looks stunning and actually you know what very unique and very pretty the way uh, the chipboards are blending with each other I think it's really nice and really shabby this time really really if you're looking for shabby inspiration here it is um, very pretty Wow um, I might have to decide whether I'm gonna add the chipboard there for example which is also nice isn't it uh, will I Definitely the corners are perfect even those even though that these are underneath it. I think that's actually looking very nice that they are underneath it I, I think I like that. I don't mind you know, so these are underneath it and Then this one Maybe oh Did you hear that belly? <laughs> wow, how about here because it's so very empty ish on that end on that side how about here look you can decide you can do whatever you like it's your project and for some strange reason I like it there like that as it is this one to keep this this one to keep this I love that can, can you stay in these? huh? can you stay in these? can you stay in these? Yes. show me the fluffy yeah you can have your fluffy leggings that's okay that's perfect okay I think I'm they gonna glue this those are trousers? No, they're, they're daddy. Pa they're, they're. Pants? Daddy choose those pants for you? Yes. Why Why are they like for outside? Yes. When you're cold? Yes. Yes, okay guys. Yes, it's I'm gonna when leave you at this when and it's be back. Raining. When it's raining. And I'll be back in two seconds literally for you. <laughs> I need some Can food. You see the rainbows? I don't see rainbows outside, not really, no, because it's really not nice and dark. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's not dark. No, it's not? No. Is it's, it's bright? Is it nice outside? Do you see the rainbow? I'm going to have a look now. <gasps> You're right. There is some sort of rainbow look. Was it rainbow, Emily, when you were driving? Uh, I think so. <gasps> so, lucky you, seen the rainbow. <laughs> I love you. Come on, hot. let's go. And we say bye bye to everyone, and we'll be back in two seconds, right? Bye bye. You, will you give back your mommy to everyone? Yeah? Yeah, she nodded her head. Yeah? Yes, okay. <laughs> I like to fix this. Why would you like? This thing. Oh, the, the red. No, later. Okay. I like to fix that. Okay, let's fix that. This? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sit down, please, and I'll fix that. Okay. 
patience of a saint guys patient of a saint there we go mommy will fix it and thank you for reminding me because I already have hot glue on so that's perfect whoops okay now it's fixed you can take it to a fridge to the fridge please there you go will you put it back to the fridge yeah thank you so much okay so we have two seconds and uh, now I'm gonna use yet again uh, gel medium actually because it will be perfect and so much easier with the gel medium rather than hot glue gun um, if I have a brush that is flat and small that would be perfect but I don't see one. Oh, I have one I have um, okay so here it is and we're gonna hi yeah. hi yeah. I missed you Ah uh, no, really? Yeah. <laughs> How was school? Very good. What did you do? Anything exciting? Anything interesting? Not really. No? No, not today. There was cooking today? No. Home tomorrow. Mondays on Mondays. Oh, okay, so what is yesterday? But tomorrow you have fun stuff. You like Wednesday, don't you? Yeah, Wednesdays are like. The easiest days. Ah, that's why you like it. Oh well. Yeah, it's like um, kind of. It's not a day's break, but it's just a nice kind of. Nice subjects. Yeah, PE, art, and music. Oh yes. In one day, and then two just easy. Can you go, mommy? Maths and Irish. Yeah, Emily loves oh. ukulele. Ukulele. She loves it. She's so good at it and she's only learning since two months and she's so great at it. Uh. And Hannah's trying to climb <laughs> climb in here. She's so good at it. She's still a little bit shy, shy isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, but she's great and maybe one day she'll play for you. I'll, I'll promise to. Oh uh. my, she just reached here and climbed over the actual um, Schuflade. What's that in English? Shelves, yeah. Okay, so Hanya, mommy is working. Did you know that? So I have here, he, ha, have her here. Um, you hungry? Yeah. It's a I lovely. Like to, I like to look at you. Okay, no problem. It's a lovely food, Emily. Today, it's a broccoli. Mm -hmm. It's fishy, mm -hmm. and fresh potatoes that Daddy made. Fresh salad. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> it didn't polish. It's nice, yeah. It's all nice and it's, fresh and it's, yes. That's unholy for that. Ah, <laughs> uh, no way. Hannah's toys were shipped. I, I, do you know what happened? I have been um, auctioning the toys for Hannah, uh, used toys, because why not to save environment instead of buying? It's that's a chipboard. Instead of buying more plastic, it's you can that. buy used and someone is happy to get some cash back and you're happy to not overpaying and you're not producing more plastic by buying more <sighs> and more and more and Hannah will have Peppa Pig toys. You happy about that, Hannah? Mm -hmm. You have some cute Peppa Pig, the one that you read We're a starting book. an interesting project in woodwork. Like? We're going to be making cup holders, well, cup kind of stand. Oh, nice! So, like, we started with a big kind of block. Okay. And then we're going to be making, well, we drew a line on, like, halfway. Mm-hmm. Because Would that soon be we're going to be cutting Would them that be into that? two. Chica, chica. And then on the bottom of the left half, we did a trench, like, a kind of, like, indent. Okay. Like not cutting the whole way, just like halfway, so there's a little like hole. And then on the other side, we do. Now even that it came. No, I don't believe it. There's four of us in the one studio. Go on. And um. But Daddy. Then on the here. other side, yeah. we did it on the top. Mm -hmm. So that when we cut them in half, when we put them over top of each other like this, they're not going to like fall apart. Okay. And that's gonna be like the bottom, and then. We're going to be doing like a top of it so that it's like this is the legs of the holder, I oh, guess. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And then there's going to be like a shape on the top. Will you show to everyone when it's done? Yeah. Awesome. That'd that be will awesome. That probably be a long time though. That's okay. That's okay. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> and I think Hannah is going to show you the project. <laughs> are we still recording? We are recording, yes. So, 
Hannah is showing you the project because we've finished. Emily, what do you think? Your style? Not so I much. I really like it. Oh, you used the crackle paste. The, yes, I tested crackling. it and it worked. That's so beautiful. Thank I like you. the color scheme. It's like my polo neck. It is. It's like my turtle neck. And if you wonder the size of the um, the, green. the the um, the this, yes. Thank you, Hannah, for helping. The size is Hannah. You see. Push now. 20. 20 centimeters or in inches you can say 20. 8. 8. 8, eight inches. Say 8 inches. 8 yeah. inches. Inch <laughs> yes, 8 inches. And it's 8 by 8 inches or 20 by 20 centimeters. And this is say, wax. blue wax. Blue wax. Blue wax. Wax. And say silver wax. Silver wax. And say green wax. Green wax. And brown wax. And brown wax. Wax, yeah, we have waxes. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for today. My girls, thank you so much for joining me. We can finish off together, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being I'm here. Peppa Pig. Mm -hmm. For projects. Yeah. For projects. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. I really hope it was inspirational journey because it was I love it. Let's say it was Emily a bit of a struggle. I was changing like few times. Oh, that's hot now, Hannah. I was changing few few times my ideas on the way, changing the color scheme, adding, changing, swapping. I no, no, love please. The color Thank scheme. you. Wow. It's a shabby cheek kish kind of thing and it's 20 by 20. Yes, thank you so much guys. I really hope you enjoyed our company today. I would invite you for dinners if I could, but you know, it, everyone is living too far from each other. So uh -huh. next time, maybe. Thank you so much. We love you loads. Thank you so much, little birdie, for inviting me to play with your goodies. I had so much fun. Oh, Hannah, we have to, oopsie. Wait, 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 wait. I had so much fun. I hope you did too, guys. And now, Time for you to go to the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, yet again for inviting me to make Eddie, this gorgeous come, project. It was really so much fun. A, a journey, a challenge, uh, but how beautiful. The end result is out of this world. I would not even guess in a million years that this is gonna be it. And I think that's the beauty of mixed media in general. So I really hope this was inspirational, educational and fun as well. Uh, don't forget to check all the links below for little birdie if you wish to follow them please do all the links are in the description box and also for a little bit of shopping if you feel like it thank you so much i'm gonna wrap up at that i already miss you but i really have to go till the next time happy crafting and i'll chat to you soon bye bye bye